Okay, so welcome everybody back to some more Pokemon Let's Go. Uh, pretty much what I did is I focused on clearing Spyro. So I'm going to come back and try to play as much of this game as I can either handle or stomach if my Joy-Con will connect. And I just wanted to really quickly say that I never got this item up here while I was out here grinding. So I do have that now. It's TM47 Surf, which is actually pretty good. Uh, otherwise, I think we're just going to go back and we're going to go do Silphco. And uh, maybe I should actually teach that to Blastoise, just to give it like a good extra move. Uh, let's let's fly first. Wah. Eevee's apparently comatose. All right, up here. And uh, I think for the most part, the remainder of this game is going to be mostly battling, because that's generally how it was in in yellow is at this point in the game there's not really too many more routes to explore I believe you could get surf at this point so I'm guessing that they kind of gate you out of Cinnabar and other places until you complete Silphco and they kind of linearized it like I said Kanto is kind of unique because it's probably the only major region that you can do stuff out of order let's uh by number which is at least kind of different let's see cannot yeah it's only going to be Blastoise it's one of the few regions where you can do that, mostly because you're not gated, per se, out of anything. Which would be kind of cool, I think, for other Pokemon games to explore, but you kind of have to design the region pretty light on challenges and light on different things. So I don't think that they want to do that, because that's sequence break hell, but I do like that. That's probably my favorite part about doing Kanto. Okay, they still haven't had their fight yet, so I'm just going to have to do all the hard work. Now, in the original games, I believe most of the trainers in Silphco are avoidable fights. You don't have to fight them, but because of that, they're missable, and you might not be able to get the money and stuff later. I don't think that's going to be the case, and even if it was, where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in skipping all the fights and all the Team Rocket stuff? To be fair, that's the only part of this game I like, or the battling. Which is kind of crazy, because they all still have one Pokemon at this point. So is the Elite Four just going to be randomly out of nowhere five Pokemon teams and just you have no preparation? I don't even need the swords for this. Good, get your Sucker Punch. Goodbye. Should actually probably not use Marowak, at least until I get to the higher floors. So wasn't I fighting level 40s not too long ago? Maybe this guy is just underleveled, just because... Let's use Blastoise then. So I can save Marowak for later. No kids allowed in here! But yeah, I really don't mind this game. I just think it's a good idea. We just, I just like, want more from it. Make it work a little harder. Removing abilities and other stuff just kind of kills it for me, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Do I even have Earthquake? I don't think I do. I really do wonder when Mega Evolution will come into play. I can't remember if I figured that out or not. It's been like about a week since I even played this game. All the videos I've been uploading have been stored footage. So we'll just do this. Like, I want to get, like, Blizzard or Ice Beam for Blastoise. I mean, it's kind of weird. You have Mega Evolution, but no abilities. So Charizard Y isn't actually as good. They kind of nerf it because of that. I mean, both Charizards are kind of bad. I think pretty much every Mega Evolution in the games plays off of the Pokemon's ability, like, after Mega Evolution. Because Charizard X has tough claws. And Charizard Y has Drought. Yeah, because I used to run that. That was, that was a lit strat. I, I love Charizard Y. I think a lot of people do. Auto Sun is pretty much sweeping status. Nice. A super Potion. Woohoo. Yeah, I need a, a key card. 
this is actually one of my favorite points when I was playing yellow. Because when you're playing yellow, it... Oh yeah, this is a Team Rocket guy. When you're playing yellow, uh, at this point, at least for me, I had pretty much my whole team evolved. Everyone knew some good moves. So pretty much I had no trouble with Silco. Uh, even including at the end with Giovanni, it was pretty much just sweeping status. I think blue gave me more difficulty than Giovanni. Hmm, you think I could counter this guy? Let's do it. Nope! Not in a million years. No paralysis? Okay, I win. I even just realized what I ended up doing, too. Hey, look, it's his only Pokemon. Woohoo. I mean, they give a lot of money, but... The fights are too short. They're too simplistic. I just feel like it's kind of really stripped down. I think once the, the awe factor wears off, it, it, you kind of just realize this is like a really inferior version of Pokemon Yellow. Like, the Eevee is nice. I like the, uh, the way they integrate it. But I feel like, just in terms of adding more, it looks like there's a face in the background over there on the left. That was really creepy for a minute. I feel like they just could have done more with it. It's a great core idea. Yeah, I keep forgetting that Dig would work, but I'm just going to use Surf, because I know it's guaranteed going to knock him out. See, I can't tell if I'm being overkill, or if this is just actually the level they expect you to be. Persian. Let's use Brick Break. Let's try that. I think that might be a problem with Pokemon games if they begin to go to the big uh, big screen. If they begin to go on like home consoles or like the next game, I think that that's going to be a problem is that they have to have a lot of stuff in it to like kind of justify it. Because on a, a 3DS game, you could kind of get away with it being a little bit lax because it's a portable game. So it's kind of not as important. This literally took me back to the beginning. Very good. You can kind of get away with it a bit more, in my opinion. You can't really get away with that on, like, $60 worth of home console gaming. Who's this guy? So has been taken over. I guess this is the end for us. X attack. Because I would even argue that, like, XD and Colosseum had more to more to the game than this. I mean, if, if the Umbreon and Espeon followed you the whole game, then maybe there would be kind of an argument. Like, at least you could say that. But is that really that big of a case? Like, I guess. It's more of an homage to Yellow, which is a reference to the anime. Yeah, we'll use Dig. I forget that Electabuzz is actually faster than it looks. I don't think an Electrovire is that fast. It might lose points in speed, I, I can't remember. Forgive me, because uh, I really didn't use most of those Gen 4 Pokemon. I kinda just got them to complete the Pokedex and called it a day. Even though Heart Gold is one of my most played games of all time. Nice. And I actually don't mind that this buff to Toxic, but yeah, but even though Heart Gold is one of my most played games of all time, I still kinda just like Some of the Pokemon I just got just to get. Some of them you need a Sinnoh game to get, like Glaceon, which is why I'm playing Platinum. I forget if I mentioned that when I started this uh, this playthrough. But Platinum is not a bad game, just I haven't really actually done anything with it in a few years. Or in a few weeks, actually. Because I've been pretty much just non-stop doing playthroughs in my free time. 
It's one of those, like, ridiculous cases where it's like, oh, you know, there was literally nothing I was doing over the summer. And then I, I wait, September comes, eh, nothing, it's all good. October, okay, we got Odyssey, that's like two weeks of my life signed away. And then, uh, just after that, it's just been non-stop. In fact, I'm, I'm still trying to play catch-up. It's gonna be the story of my whole YouTube existence, is playing catch-up with games I want to do stuff with. Now, what's interesting about this hallway on yellow is that it's actually only enough for one person to squeeze by, so you can actually have a rocket grunt block you, and you have to leave the floor and come back so they can get out your way. Again, Gen 1 is a, a really weird game, but back then it wasn't about squares, per se. I mean, I guess technically this is, this is still like a square-based game, but... You can tell that, like, there's free range of movement. Like, you can pretty much do whatever you want, like a normal game. That didn't exist in Yellow, and it didn't... It actually existed up until or an Ass, I believe. X and Y kind of experimented with it. Look at that. But or an Ass is really where it became common to have free movement. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail it. I mean, the only other thing, I guess, is that this game will be shorter, probably, because there's less Pokemon to burn through, unlike, except for, like, maybe bosses will have their full teams, which is even still, like, kind of weird. Look at that, outplayed. Look at that mastery. Fuck that. Double protect? Nope. I'm actually surprised that he survived. Uh, you know he's going to use Protect. I'm just going to deal with it. Yeah, I called it. I knew he was going to do it. This fucking old school AI will just literally sit there and, and alternate between Protect and doing something really dumb. Yeah, it probably has, like, Spark or something really annoying. Let's use Victory Bell. I'm never going to get any better moves for it, am I? All these Grass types all over all these Dexes, and they all have, like, awful move pools. It's, it's truly a tragedy. It's, it's literally a crime against Grass Pokemon. Pretty much an entire type used only for support. Okay, well, I knew that one was going to That did a lot. Alright, full heal. <laughs> Use Razor Leaf. So many things resist it. So many things are good against it. It doesn't have the type coverage or the stats usually to compete against most things that will literally murder or not be affected by it. Just, just the worst, probably honestly the worst type in Pokemon. And some, some of my favorite Pokemon are from this category, from this type, and it's really awful. A moment when literally nothing can go away. Wow, Victory Bell moved first? Okay. To be fair, I have ten levels over it, so take that for what you will. What? I guess I hit B. I had a seizure for half a second. I was like, did I just rewind time for like five seconds? Now you see, that was a alright length battle. Here we go, this is like the storage room. I'm gonna get the self key over here. Nope, just a bunch of Pokeballs. There's not even anything to catch in here. At least they try to explain how these panels work. They're, they're teleportation, you don't just fly into the ceiling. Yeah, here's the real narrow one. 
So let me guess, you take this, it initiates the fight. You get a nugget, but you have to fight. Oh no, apparently not. Well, we'll fight her anyway, but... She's very, very nearsighted. I don't think I have any moves to counter this, no. There's nothing to counter! The ten levels below me, more so. It's twelve levels. Going down that route basically supercharged my whole team. It's magnificent. Hard rock. Someday! When I get back into playing Gen 1 and Gen 2, because pretty much that's all I played over the summer, was I... Once the, so what happened was is that uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon came out last year in 2017. Right? Because Oranas was 2014. X and Y was the year before that. Sun and Moon was 26... It's really only been a year? Yeah, I guess it was around the time of Origins that game came out. So yeah, I pretty much played Ultra Sun non-stop that month. And didn't do anything else. Then I beat Ultra Moon. And after that I was like, yo, I guess I'll just play the Gen 2 games. So I played all three Gen 2 games from start to finish. Which is great, and if I can actually get away with it, I want to play Crystal maybe for the channel. Uh... I think probably the worst part about Gen 2 games is that they're kind of notorious for being easy up until the very end. And one of the biggest problems is that there's no real place to grind that's efficient at the end of the game. That's kind of a problem with the earlier Pokemon games is that if your Pokemon are not good in like the area right before the Elite Four, which is usually Victory Road, there's no refreshable trainers you could really fight. And so the game kind of just ends up being meh. You know what I mean? Like, you kind of just end up having to give them experience shares and waste time hoping that they eventually get good. Which experience share experience is not that great. Like, you, you kind of want to level by actually using Pokemon in the earlier games. Unlike this game where you can kind of just throw something in your party fight for maybe an hour, and then it's, like, really good. Or at least, you know, comparable. Especially in X and Y, that was pretty much my entire playthrough of X and Y. It was a, a Torchic with speed boost. I think mine was, like, bashful. And, uh, oh, look, it's Archer. What is it, Mr. Archer? You know that kid? Oh, it's gonna be a double battle. Look at this. Oh, no, you know that old guy? They're fool enough to get in our way, is that it? Well, brave little boys. I mean, aren't they the ones who are getting in our way? Not even! Oh my god, not even! Mr. Archer is saying you're in his way, alright? You wanna go home in tears or what? Calm yourself, I'll teach these children a good lesson. Yeah, it does look like a face over there. Don't worry, if you don't see it, you don't see it. You're not missing anything, I'm just spooked, I don't know. It's like some vaporwave shit. Now, if you have Earthquake, it's lit. So, maybe, I guess they're implying that he caught the Cubone, huh? He caught it. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? Fuck you. I can win this fight by myself. Oh, my lord. He's a fucking asshole. Okay, well, that didn't do much. In Gen 1, that would have been bad, because I think... Explosion and self-destruct ignore half your defense. And plus it would get boosted. But that's not the case here, so that was a complete waste of his electrode. So you're just not a very good admin, are you? Although that means I attacked my teammate for nothing. Goodbye. Super effective on Kifo. I don't give a shit. Let's see if he has another Pokemon. If not, I'll solo this. Only had full restores. They usually give your AI team a little more than one. Weezing. And Raichu. Why don't you have a Pokemon that knows telepathy? 
Actually, both both of these Pokemon are pretty fucking tanky. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's one of those things. Yeah, sometimes Pokemon will lock up during a team fight. Fucking protect spamming bullshit. Yeah, I should probably stop doing that because I'm gonna need Raichu's help. I also probably need to swap out anyway. Uh, fuck me. Let's use Marowak. So I guess your ally or your rival must evolve his starter into whatever electric type is available. So I guess, well, for Pikachu it's only Raichu. And, uh, for... What's the other one? For Eevee, I guess he gets a Jolteon. Pidgeot, okay, well, I, I can't keep making my team, my opponent's team faint, because I'm gonna need his help. So let's do one round of swords. Because you know he's gonna protect, so there's no point in even bothering. He's just gonna do the same bullshit, he's gonna alternate. But apparently not. He'll wait till the turn that I actually fight him, and then he'll use Protect. Don't burn. Okay. He's gonna Protect this turn, I feel. I'm just gonna get rid of the Raticate. He's gonna Sucker Punch, though. Yes, the sun rises in the fucking east. Now die. Wow, he didn't protect. Okay. <laughs> just remember, I'm keeping Boomerang just for this playthrough. Just so I can hit through substitutes. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. Oh, she's out of Pokemon. Okay, well now it's a two-on-one. We can pretty much do whatever we want. Does this guy know self-destruct? Is he gonna explode on me? I get the feeling like that's coming. So I'm guessing at the end of the game, he's gonna Mega Evolve his Pidgeot, isn't he? Alright, well... It's simple and effective. Level 47. Yeah. That's the one thing I need, is I need to find a better move for coverage against flying. I'm going to use Fire Punch, I guess. I mean, to be fair, if I could just hit them... Is, are there any Fire Flyings besides Moltres in this generation? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. No, Charizard. But, yeah, that's Charizard. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that you beat me last time. I understand now. We have to be more careful about you two. Out of the way! Anger. Hatred. Oh, look, here we go. The self key. Yeah, the card key. Okay, well, now we can open all these rooms. Bingo! The card key opened the door. Max Ether. Am I still leading with Blastoise? Uh, oh, he fully healed me. Nice. Okay, I'll keep leading with him. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. So let me guess, your entire team is an Electrode and maybe like a Voltor. Oh no, Electrode? Oh, Mop. Okay, I was gonna say it's super predictable. Let's do dig. Toxic. Oh, Minimize. Good times. I remember when Koga, I think, used to use Minimize, and I would spend like half an hour trying to fight him, just to try to hit him at least once. Yeah, here we go. 
More bullshit. Forget it. I'm not gonna use dig. It's too risky. Can't hit him. Try one more time and then I gotta swap out. Dude. Why did I not teach my EV fucking Swift, honestly? Just for reasons like this. There you go. It doesn't affect them. Not even the swords. I know I'll defeat him on one hit. Oh, look. Ice Punch. I like how he just became untouchable. Thank you. Wow, we can actually progress in the game now. Very good. Might actually be the first Pokemon game to not have all the different Pokemon's data from later games. Maybe. Probably only just put in what was relevant and necessary for Gen 1 Pokemon. Ooh, Flash Cannon. That's pretty alright. So basically what I'm going to do now is you don't really need to use the warp panels anymore. I think I might need to use a couple. I'm just going to look through all the different floors and see what I can find. Now look, we have a juggler. No. Yes, even Eevee says no. We'll, uh, we'll open up every single shutter. What does Charizard know? Just don't tell me it still knows only Ember. You're killing me with that. Charizard has to learn Flamethrower at some level. What? There shouldn't be any children here. Dalton. That is pretty crazy that Charizard has not learned another fire move. I mean, I guess fire spin is okay. But it hasn't learned fire blast. Hasn't learned flamethrower. Which, as you see, is kind of a hindrance at this point, because I need a good move. Honestly, Seismic Toss is almost the better move at this point. it would be, what, 46? That's better than Ember. And I really wanted to use this Charizard, too. I think Charmander is my favorite out of the original uh, couple of starters. For more than one reason. More so than just whatever. Uh, we can use Ember, I guess. doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, like I was saying before, uh, I do want to eventually create living dexes for Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon... I already did one for Crystal. But part of the problem is that to do the duplication glitch, I'd have to do a whole bunch of trading. And, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't do it. It's just that gen the old school generations used to trade Pokemon one by one. So that is just basically a gigantic time sink. But I'll do it. I mean, it's not impossible. I like those games enough. But it will just take me probably... If I break it up week by week, I can do it in a month. No stress, but... You know... happens. Oh look, we have a Porygon. Look at all those Jaggies. Okay, so I guess once you defeat everyone in here, you can get the Porygon from him, it seems like. Or is it an uproar with something true? That's you, right? Does say anything? Guard spec. 
Nope. Nothing. Oh, well, she's doing something. Let's... Ninetales, yeah, I think because it's traded, gets the most experience. Let's put Marowak in. Don't look at me! Well, to a kill with a nasty look in his eyes, my Pokemon just don't have any energy left. Oh, we already beat it. Okay. Get it out of here somehow. Yeah, why don't you use me to smuggle it? What floor is this? Fifth floor. I don't think I've done anything on the fourth floor. I don't recognize the floors by heart. They do all kind of look the same. And they are the same as their original incarnations, but I don't really recognize it. Okay. This is... I'm not even going to waste Bone Meringue. I'm going to use Fire Punch. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, well, you know, maybe I shouldn't do that. Nice. Electrode. That gets completely countered. You think this will explode too? Should I do anything with it? What would an Electro even do to a Marowak? Sweet. I guess we have our answer. No static. Just, you know, the usual. Okay, well, there you have it. Who are you? Wait, yeah, I am thinking of maybe using my GBA player. Uh, maybe for like a game like Fire Red. I think that might be a cool playthrough to do, just for like shits and giggles. Can't you see him hiding? Yeah, he's playing a stealth game. He's playing that game where uh, the kaiju attacked Japan and you're just a normal person. Whatever happened to Tokyo Jungle, or whatever that series was, where you play as the animals? I think they had one for, like, PS3. Whatever happened to Lost in Blue? Now, you want to talk about stuff from a lifetime ago. They basically load you up. I mean, if I really needed to leave, I would just leave and heal. I think I might do a playthrough of Fire Red. I gotta look into getting that stuff in. I gotta get a copy of Fire Red that actually works. But... I, I got one about a, a couple months ago and it didn't work, so I got my money back. Feels bad. The problem, if you don't have a lot of these old school games, like hardware wise, you're pretty much screwed, which sucks, unfortunately. How oh, nice, they zoomed in, zoom out. And yeah, they were never released on any virtual console, which, again, I think part of it is that if they were to release it, they'd have to give some way to, like, import the Pokemon forward. Uh, but now that they have Pokey Transporter, I mean, that pretty much is what they would use. They would just have to set it up for that specific game series. Because I would get those games again. So I'll order Fire Red, and then all of a sudden, a week later, they'll be like, by the way, it's, it's coming out. It, it's going to be here in like a month to celebrate like Pokemon's like 20th or something. Actually, this is the 20th year, or yeah, the 20th anniversary. I know they'll do that, for sure, because that's usually how my luck goes. But you know what? It works out, because I don't care. I'll do some weird shit like that. Okay, we have two teleporters in here. I guess we'll just see where they go. Let's heal. Heal everyone. Can afford to waste three super potions.
Doesn't someone in here give you a Lapras? I think. I might be wrong about that. I feel like they do give you a Lapras, though. I'll do some weird stuff. I'll give myself, like, all three starters. <laughs> and then fire it. Just for shits and giggles. You all know which one is pretty much not going to be touched, but... Actually, Bulbasaur isn't that bad. All things considered. Wrong. You guessed wrong. I am a physical attacker. When has Marowak ever been a special attacker? He might have only had light screen. Maybe I'll get rid of Iron Tail for Rock Slide. Because do I really need fairy killing potential? There's not even that many fairy types in this gen. Yeah, maybe I'll get rid of Iron Tail. Because there's not really much use for it in, in Kanto. I just realized he was Sonic Boom. I'm like, what? If only we could learn Thunder Punch. Oh, but Fire Punch works here. I don't have Rock Slide either, so... I'm not gonna lie, I expected today to be filled with, like, really difficult battling. This is pretty much just sweeping mode. There's, 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 there's no competition because we're just too low of a level. I actually expected stuff to be higher level. I don't know. Guess I was wrong. Plus, I don't think Marowak is going to be bad in any gym that's coming up. So all we got to do is just roll with him. I'm going to roll with him. Basically, we have to defeat Lorelei with Eevee and non- other Pokemon, I guess. And that's pretty much it. After that, he can sweep everyone but Lance. I guess the champion is blue? So, pretty much we're just gonna enter sweeping mode. It's gonna be the whole game is Marowak basically versus the world. This is fantastic, by the way. This is why I don't like to mess with these pandas if you don't have to. So now that we know there's nothing good over there, this is just one big shortcut to take us back to, what, the second floor? That is the tenth floor. Oh, I'm scared. Welcome to floor ten. So good of you to join me. Nobody would say it like 10F. That is so weird. I just, I never thought about it like that. Nobody would say, welcome to 10F. People will think you're stupid. <laughs> it's one of those things that it makes sense in a video game. Or if you're reading a map. Oh, fuck this. Nobody would ever say it like that. Iron Tail. We'll mix it up. Because what is Steel really good against? Just rocks, right? Rock, Ice, and Fairy. But there are, there's pretty much like three Fairy types, most of which are dual types anyway. More candy. Oh my god! It happened. We finally found this. I'm saving. I haven't saved in a while. Save. Thank you. Oh. We finally found Flamethrower. We found it. Oh, thank the lord. Blast. Ooh. This is pretty cool. Blastoise can learn Flash Cannon. Uh, what should we get rid of? Brick Break, maybe? I think we could get... Yeah, Brick Brick is a TM anyway. Special Defense.
even the bite. But that's I, I think I'm gonna keep bite because we don't really have a lot of dark types. There, I don't even think there is a single dark type in the first 151 Pokemon. What is the first dark type? Is it Umbreon or Houndoom? Point is, there's not a lot of them. Oh, Marowak can learn it, but we don't we don't want Marowak to learn it. I had a feeling it, it could. I feel like uh, Kiawi's Marowak knows uh, Flamethrower. But in Alola, Marowaks are Ghost Fire, as opposed to Ground types. Okay, let's organize. Drill Run? Nope, nobody. Probably that's for Ponyta. If you have a Ponyta. Uh, should we use Charizard then? You can actually hit stuff for Stab. Well, there's so many electric types flying around. Maybe that's not the best. We'll wait for Sabrina's gym. But then again, they're going to all have high special defense. It's going to be real weird. There you go. Oh. I love how we're beginning to like finally loop on all these different floors. So there's not too much left to do. I forget if you need to hit a specific warp panel to get to the end. Oh, look at this. You got healing. I'm a beautiful spy who was disguised as a nurse. Oh, are you tired? You should have a rest here in the nap room. Okay, it's the same spy as before. I don't know why she doesn't recognize me. Five. This might actually be the right way forward. There's a heal room on the way, and this looks like a, a passage you would not struggle to get down, but it looks like they're specifically guarding that very obviously placed warp tile. Yeah, whatever. We have a way of restoring PP now, anyway. See, because of all this bullshit, I'm starting to think that ground types can hit Pokemon they shouldn't. Because I've been bone meringuing uh, most of these Pokemon who would normally have levitate pretty much the whole game. And it, it's really messing with me internally. I'm like, oh, I could hit anything with bone meringue then. I think Lorelei is pretty much going to be Buzzy Buzz the fight. Because I don't really have any fighting types to fight her ice types. Which you don't even really need to do in the first place. Just use electricity. Agatha is going to be Bone Meringue the fight. I can confidently say that. What the hell? Okay, they're both doing really nefarious stuff. I support Team Rocky more than I support Silphco, but you're employed by Silphco. Oh, you're fired. You're you're fucked. Scientist Jose. It's just all poison types and electric types. If you have any ground types, I mean, it's pretty much GG. You're gonna just dominate this place. So maybe you weren't supposed to go down all those routes so early. I guess I struggled for not nothing, but I struggled and now I'm way ahead. Because I was gaining levels like crazy going down was it, those four routes. Route 12, 13, 14, and 15. Magmar. Look, they threw in a fire type. It's like all three of the types ground is good against. This like just just completely crammed into one area. Goodbye. All of them. Yeah, you know now that I think about it, steel isn't actually good against that many types, is it? 
There's like three types, not none of which are too common, besides maybe rock. Double edge? No. I would consider double edge if we had abilities, but because we don't have abilities, I'm gonna keep old moves. Give it a minute to warm up. I might just close the window totally. Let's do... Let's fight this. Well, what's going on? First that kid was annoyingly strong and now you. Why are kids allowed in here? Oh. I don't know if he remembers me or what the fuck's going on. Okay. X special defense. I could throw that on when I go fight Lorelei, because she probably only uses a special. I should really use battle items in a fight. I know I'm going to pretty much stomp. I think that will be pretty decent. Or is that a fight that I need to stomp? Especially the Elite Four, since I'll have to do five fights in a row. Which is always such a really confusing thing. Because it's the Elite Four plus champion, not just the Elite Four break then champion. I mean, once you know that, it's not a problem. But when I was a kid, I was like, oh, I beat the Elite Four. And then, oh, by the way, the worst trainer is yet to come. I think Cynthia probably gave me the most trouble. But I think the hardest experience I ever had was the Hoenn Elite Four. Just because there legitimately was no place to grind. Victory Road is not kind to a lot of Pokemon. It's really hard to use them in a timely manner, I guess. I, I guess I should say. Okay, now I'm really lost. This is the one with the narrow corridor. And then the juggler. Five, yeah. Five F. Let's make sure I've done all the lower floors. Which I feel like I have. Yeah, this is the one where the guy's hiding. That's 4F. I opened up everything, right? Yeah. I think we're pretty much almost done. We just gotta fight Giovanni. We'll find the nurse again. This is 3F. Okay. I, already, I was just here. Where does this one lead to? What? The same floor. It's a troll. Okay. This is 2F. Yeah, I already did all this. Okay, so pretty much I think we're just looking for the exit. Looking to clear this. What is this? 4F. This is 5F. Yeah, I haven't been in here. It's probably was like one of the two or three floors I haven't been on yet. Two rockets. I think Team Rocket convinced all the scientists to abandon their former employer. You dare betray Team Rocket? Well, to betray them, I'd have to be with them at some point. Yeah, if only I knew a fighting type move on Marowak, I could pretty much run through most of this place. Maybe I should get rid of Iron Tail. Why did I teach Iron Tail in the first place? I can't even remember. It's been that long. What did I say? What moves did I give up for it? Maybe I just taught it just because I wanted it to have good moves. And I think I had Brick Break at one point, but I remember weighing like the odds or the the choice between Brick Break and Fire Punch. I should have been weighing it between Fire Punch and uh, Iron Tail. I don't know if there's like some reason I'm missing or, or what's going on. All that has no defenses, just delete it. Burn? Oh, okay.
I guess if you're, like, I don't want to say rushing the game, but if you haven't leveled too much, this is kind of where you would need to use a lot of strategy and stuff, I guess, because this game is easy as hell anyway. But because I gave all my candies pretty much to one Pokemon, it's, it's just deleting, it's tearing through everything. Okay, well that's it for 6th floor, unless... I mean, should I just fight these guys? It's money. We'll defeat all four of the Rocket Sisters, which I believe was in yellow. The, the four Rocket Brothers, I guess? I don't remember. I feel like they've used that before. Fire Punch. I should actually use Iron Tail. Doesn't matter, but I should use Iron Tail for when it does. Because there's a lot of normal types here as well. Let me move this stuff really quickly. That's nice, I know. Someday I'll start my ASMR channel, but today is not one of those days. Oh dear, oh dear, help me, please. The man next to me, he's such a coward. Let's, let's... Because Iron Tail isn't a bad move. I just need something better. So I think Brick Break would be better for Marowak to know. We have we have one Steel-type move. It's, it's Flash Cannon. Right? With an accuracy like that, it's going to let me down probably the minute I need it. It's a TM, right? Yeah, so it's fine. If, heavens forbid, I ever need to learn it, basically everyone in my party has a tail besides Victory Bell. That rotten president... Serves him right for transferring a star employee like me off to the boondocks. That's why Team Rocket came after us. I'm sure of it. Oh, okay, sure, dude. I'm sure of it. It's karma. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, buddy. You gotta get better Pokemon first before you start doing this shit. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh no, buddy, what are you doing? Ah, uh, bummer. What floor is the, uh, the nursery where, where the nurse heals you? Probably like eight, I guess. What am I on right now? Six? Oh my lord, dude. You cannot be getting your whole team swept if you're trying to do all this shit. Yeah, all the scientists are disgruntled employees, or cowards. Pretty much is how it goes. Shoot! Okay. Max Repel. I didn't pick up the item, oops. Anything good? Super Potion. I mean, yeah, it saved me a little bit of money. And a Hyper Potion. Okay, well that's pretty much it. Done everything on the floor now. Wasn't there... Wait, was there a door to the left? Or am I misremembering? Hold on. I, I can't remember. Is there an area... Yeah, there's an area over here with a warp panel. Let's see where it goes. Okay, I have no clue what floor this is. This is floor four. Okay, so that, that leads to floor six. We don't need to do that anymore. We just need to go up. This is 
floor six. Okay, I haven't done anything on seven apparently. I guess. Oh, is that a picture of uh the bell tower in in Johto? Yeah, they call it the bell tower now. It's not the burn tower and the the tin tower anymore. It's the bell tower, and I forget what the other tower is called. The brass tower, I think, burned to the ground, right? No, it was the brass and the tin. And then the brass burned down. But they renamed it in Gen 4. I don't remember. It's something like that. The bell tower still stands because that's where Ho-Oh roosts. Back a ton. Not really much to say. That's guaranteed knockout. EV 47. Ever had a level 47 EV? I can't wait for someone in this playthrough to use Spore, by the way. That's what's really gonna drive me right up the wall. Alright, what time is it? Okay. This is only two. What? What? Oh, I was about to say. So I guess all these photos and pictures are of different regions then. That's pretty cool. Makes it pretty interesting, you know? It, it mixes it up a bit. So good. Yeah, see, Thunder Punch, I think, would be a better coverage move. I don't think we'd, we'd lose too much by having Thunder Punch. Or, may I know, you know what? If Rock Slide is a TM, which I get the feeling it is, because I believe it was a TM in Gen 1, and it still is a TM, I'm going to use that instead of Brick Break. Because Brick Break is just there for normal types. It's, it's not really there for anything else. Okay, good. What is this? Oh, for this portrait. It looks like Wingull flying near, like, a coastal town. I can't tell if that's for Alola or Hoenn. President is still in the boardroom on the 11th floor. I'm so worried. Hope he's safe. You, it's really dangerous. You can't save me. You can't. What? Okay. I guess you're screwed then. Now, Rocky, you can't save us. Wait, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Here we go. So this is the Lapras business, man. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but we much better off with you. A gentle soul that can understand human speech. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Which was why it was the surf icon for Gen 2. In Gen 3 remakes, I believe they have data mine that Lapras would have had that returning icon. Let's go up to the Master Ball. Okay. Let's actually look at it. I'm actually kind of sad they didn't bring that back. They kind of did for Oranas, and they kind of got rid of it for good. Look at this. It's basically perfect. I just think the nature I have is garbage, isn't it? Yeah. Defense up, special defense down, which kind of equalizes them, I guess, at that level. Mist. Ice Shard, Confuse Ray, and Body Slam. Pretty much, this thing is good to go. What level is it? 34. Yeah, so pretty much if you show up with this thing, you teach it like maybe one ice type move and surf. This thing is god tier. Okay. 
Okay, well, I already went over there. There's nothing over there, right? Yeah, you have to warp into that one room, which means I need to find the one warp panel that will let me in there. Now, uh, Team Rocket gets control of Sylph and our Pokemon. I am one of the four Rocket Sisters. I think this is number four. I think we're, we're finally caught up. Okay. Do I even really need to say it? Even Fire Punch is starting to work one-hit wonders. Okay. Keep battling. I think... I just hope Gen 8 has more actual stuff. Like, this, this kind of didn't really expand too much besides having a, basically a home console Pokemon game since XD. Oh no, technically Battle Revolution, but does anyone really remember Battle Revolution for much? I don't even think they updated Battle Revolution with the new Rotom forms, right? Battle Revolution launched as a Diamond Pearl, uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum game, and pretty much did not... No, it just launched as a Diamond and Pearl game, and it didn't go any further than that, even though we got like other editions and stuff in Platinum. Because Platinum added a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to the franchise. Tails. Nine Tails is ready for Lance. That's gonna be lit. That's gonna be a pretty simple fight, I feel. If I outspeed them and can one-shot them, I, I pretty much win by default. TM34 Dragon Pulse? That's not bad. Where is it? I'll teach that to Charizard. Yeah, that'll be good. Because it's not Dragon type. That this is literally made for Lance. There you go, both of them can learn it. Uh, let's get rid of Dig. We'll teach it to Blastoise, too. We'll maybe get rid of something. I don't know. Because it's, it's a, just a... Oh, oops. It's just a good attacking-type move. Because how much... What even resists Dragon? Like, Steel and Ice? Not really many things. So we'll get rid of Dig again. We don't need to use Dig as a filler move anymore. Okay. Which dig is a filler move. That's the whole purpose of using it. My number. Three smart candies. Which I think is for special attack. Nope. So where did that take me? This is 4-5. Oh, fuck that. I'm going back up. Okay. This is 7, right? Yeah. So onward to 8. We know now we need to warp to 7 somehow. Not that knowing we need to warp to it really changes anything. Maybe this takes us over here. You're causing us problems! And if you think this is long, uh... Really, this is the longest portion of the game. It's not necessarily the hardest, it's just that even, like, rushing through it, you need to know what to do, and you still have to fight, like, a couple trainers. I don't remember the exact pattern to get out of Sylph, though. But! And but! This electrode is smart. My one shot, no. Sucker. <laughs> but yeah. Or he got. Uh oh. You know, maybe I should keep Rock Slide Boomerang and uh. 
Brick Break. Maybe I'll just do that. We'll save Fire... Yeah, since we have a Fire-type move now, we don't really need Fire Punch. Uh-oh, we're starting to bond with it. You saw that? I knew you could do it. So look at that. We're starting to get a trust with Marowak, which means it's going to start doing stuff like Matrix Dodging super effective moves. Pretty much, I had to use it the whole game, but now that I have it to that point, it's starting to listen. That's a cool mechanic. I think that might be one of the few mechanics I really like that they added. It's like the one from... Are you for real? You're kidding, right? Don't tell me it works in reverse. Okay, now they're just trolling. But whatever. I, uh, I think that's one of the, the few mechanics I really like that they added. What the hell is this? Yeah, okay. I've been here. Yeah, the dude for the copy machine. I remember that. Well, at some point, we just gotta start guessing with the various panels. That's why I'm trying to step on each one at least once, so I know where it goes. Already did floor nine. Yep. I think I warped up here. What is that supposed to be a picture of? Spear pillar? Maybe? You can't interact with the photos to get them to tell you anything. It's just what I think it looks like based on my knowledge of Pokemon. Right? This didn't lead anywhere. I went... yeah. I'm starting to loop on myself. Yep, already fought him. Okay, well let's step on each way. See, it would make it a little easier if they had a pop-up for what floor you end up on. Because then at least I would be able to know what is what. But I know what room I'm warping into, I just need to find what warp panel actually gets me there. Certainly know how to keep it interesting. Who the hell are you? I like how there's designs for Pokeballs on the table, too. Well, that's, a, that's a nice touch. Wait a minute. What room is this? Wait. Okay. I think they kind of troll with these. They have a bunch of pretty much link in a circle that don't go anywhere. Maybe that guy is still a trainer. I don't know. Yeah, this is the room where I got a flamethrower, right? This is floor 10? State your purpose for being here. So there's probably one warp panel somewhere on one of these random floors I completely missed. And that's the one I need to hit and go to. Okay. Fire punch. We did get some good stuff though, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like this is a complete waste of time. We got good experience. Got like a couple good levels. We got um, a couple good TMs, which is always good because we actually finally got Flamethrower. We, we learned a lot. We had a lot of fun. Pokemon is a lot of fun. Supposedly. And pretty much Marowak single-handedly took care of all of Team Rocket with a couple cameos by Blastoise. Maybe Swords isn't worth it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe someone is like, oh, why are you using Swords in a game this easy? I mean, it's just guaranteed, right? Like, if I Swords once, if it doesn't resist any of my moves, it's probably going to die. Which is kind of the point. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe I don't need swords. Can I just get extra point and special attack? Ugh. <laughs> Alright, well. Obviously this is not what you need to do. So now, unfortunately, I think that's pretty much it. We've done everything we can do in Sylphco. 
The only thing left to do is to literally warp every warp until we figure out which one is the one that leads into the room. So I'm not going to like just randomly hit warp points. I'm going to try to be strategic about it. So if I hit a warp and it doesn't take me to that room, then it's not worth warping to. Or I'm going to go back. It's probably on the lower floors. like Maybe like floor 5. No oh, shit. Oh, crap. Okay, so it wouldn't be something in the open like that. There's gotta be this is floor five. There's gotta be something in like a hidden room, but not super hidden. Oh fuck it, whatever. It's not like I'm full of good ideas at the moment. It's also not like I'm really using a guide either. I think when I... I remember the Lily Cove thing giving me so much trouble back in the day, and then I realized it's, that the Lily Cove stuff is pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I think the, the biggest problem is that the music of this area kind of gets annoying after a bit. This is 9, right? No, this is, wait, this is... Seven. It's all always seven. Let's use this one, right? The coward room. Is this it? Nope. This is the one where, yeah, those two link to the same room on like floor nine or some shit. all linked together. This is 10. I get the feeling like it's on like one of the lower floors. Oh, fuck me, man. No, already did that one. Let's try using this one again. I feel like... Let me heal, I guess, while I'm here. I feel like something like this should probably lead to the boss. But just like general video game rules, where it's kind of like, oh, you get a heal or a save point right before you get to the boss. We're, we have to fight Trace, however, here. I get the feeling. Yes, I did find out that his name is Trace. Uh, which makes it kind of funny I named him not Gary. Oh, here we go. Figured it out. Oh, wow. They don't even let you step off. That's far enough. I guess we won't be fighting him. Me again, as many times as it takes, I will not let you reach the boss. What was that, reach the boss? What can you think? Giovanni must be here. Oh, he's gonna fight him instead. This is a change, yeah. This is different. I like how it really was actually just that simple. Before there, you would have to fight your, your rival, but they changed it. You, know, you don't have to fight him. Hold it right there, twerp! Our boss is in a meeting, you better not disturb him. Moir. Jesse and James. I think you fight them earlier in Silphco. In uh, the original. Fight them like on a random floor, I think. Marowak was my second in command. Or, uh, Eevee was my second in command. Uh, forget the wheezing. We'll just get rid of Arbok. Poison. Yeah, Glitzy Glow. No protect on that, so we're just gonna go right through him. If I had divided and conquered, we could have pretty much almost swept them this turn, but I, I made a mistake. But I knew that was coming, so I wanted to put up a uh, light shield. Eevee managed to expel the poison so you wouldn't have to worry. 
Yo, look at these broken mechanics. Hello? Alright, so they get swept. The one move they did was both mitigated and was wor made worthless. I think we know what my, uh... I, I love these games. They're, they're hilarious. I just think it's going to be too short. They're going to beat the Elite Four and pretty much be done. Uh-oh. Why is my phone ringing when I muted it? That is so weird. I muted it. Whatever. He gains double experience. Charizard grew to 48. As always, I hate kids. I remember when they bullied James into getting rid of his victory bell. That was real messed up. That was like uh, some next level degree of messed up stuff. Alright, here we go. Let's save. That wasn't even really much of a fight. They should have given them like uh, the lick a tongue as well. And the victory bell. That would have been cool. It would have made the fight a little bit longer, I guess. Now, now, Mr. President. I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball, you successfully created one, didn't you? Do you think it's that easy to make? I know, And now that I know who you really are, there's no way I want to make a thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you? And give up any thought of forcing us to create lots of powerful Pokemon for you. Using stolen research to create Pokemon, that's not something Sylph should ever do. We had a deal. You agreed to this. You're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. We had a deal. It was kind of interesting. Ah, uh, young Malcolm, so we meet again. The president of Sylph and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters or experience a world of pain. Team Rocket Boss Giovanni. Only three Pokemon on him. Uh oh. I'm gonna set myself up for maximum sweeping. Dude. Whatever. Get your fucking yucks. Fucking cup. One sword. Break. That's it. I knew you could do it. I like that. I like that cheering of your Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I mean, if Marowak is going to put in this much work, I feel like he deserves to get cheered on a little bit. I think that's Horn Drill. That's it! I knew you could do it! I believe in you, Marowak! Oh, Nidoqueen is his signature. Uh, one right. Alright, see ya. Dude, he should fear the shit out of me, man. I lost again. I show up, this dude's whole day is ruined. I will relinquish Sylph for now. But Team Rocket will never fall. No, will never forget. All Pokemon exist for Team Rocket's use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. Alright. Relaxing music. Oh, dear boy, thank you for saving us here at Sylph. Suppose that's so. It wasn't you. It was that wonderful partner of yours, too. I think I used Eevee in one battle here. I have to thank you in some way, and I'm quite magnanimous, so I could give you anything. Here, maybe this will do? Yes, he literally had the Master Ball in his pocket. Can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype. The Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. Truthfully, we've only succeeded in making the just the one. So you should probably be quiet about using it. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We from the President Down are indebted to you for what you did. Alright, so I guess now we have to talk to... What's his name? Not Gary again. See if he survived. I don't know. I don't know where he went.
Maybe the guy with the Porygon will give it to me now. I just need to find what floor he's on. I don't remember. I think it, I'm not even going to try to guess what floor was. I just think it was higher than three. Nope. But yeah, pretty much all this game makes me want to do is it makes me want to play... Uh... Oh no, he's gone. It makes me want to play uh, Fire Red again. The only thing about Gen 3 games I don't like is, again, the physical special split not being a thing. You kind of can never go back after that. But that is a, it's a pretty uh, important thing to have. Nothing, it's all abandoned and empty. Oh, I didn't open these. Well, too late. What floor is this, two? Huh. Whatever. Maybe one of our products. T yeah, it's awful. It's the type of thing they would sell and they would get like one star ratings on it. Self-destruct as a TM. What? Why? From playing hook, you only find the company would taken over. A tool can be used for good or evil, depending on the person using it. A sure thing will happen if T-Market got in their hands on Sylph technology. X special attack. And the ones that took on T-Market were actually some kids. Wait, could it be you? No, no, it couldn't be. Well, no fame, no glory, no guts. My works piled up, so we need to get cracking. You hear me? The president can find him in the boardroom on 11F. Let's capture for Team Mario. I wonder if our insurance plan covers that kind of thing. Dude, you beat Giovanni, right? The archer guy made a run for it, so I chased him all the way out here, and then they ran right out of Saffron City. I was a little scared. Like, what would have happened to us if it turned out the bad guys were the strongest, you know? We really managed to save Silver. We'll never have to go through a Cubo and win through ever again. Uh, everything's back to normal. It's the time for the next Pokemon gym. Have you been to the Saffron State gym? Not many. Wow. Maybe we'll both make it to the Pokemon League. Let's both give it our best shot. 